The September 25th meeting of the Planning and Economic Development Committee will now come to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Ancello? Here. Ms. Boyce? Chairwoman DeFlorio? Here. Ms. Cayley? Here. Mr. Moyo? Here. President Daniele? Here. Is there anyone signed up for the public forum tonight? There is not. Is there anyone present who has not signed up to speak who would like to address the committee at this time? Seeing none, the next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes. You have the July 24, 2017 minutes before you. They will stand approved unless the clerk is notified of any changes by the end of the day. The next item on the agenda is new business. Mr. Clerk. Referral 17-0273. Move, moved by Legislator Ancello, seconded by President Daniele. Um, before I open it up for discussion, um, can uh, we please get a brief overview of um, the program from the administration? Just a little background. Madam Chair, um, this program is uh, a new program for us, and it allows us to get, a, to get vouchers from the U.S. Department of Energy, and then we can turn around and use those vouchers to purchase services on a website, and the website offers things such as training classes, certain amount of hours we can buy, um, various other technical assistance that will help us with our, our programs, and, and specifically with solar energy. Thank you. Any further? Yes, President Daniele. Yes, uh, through, yeah, through you, through the chair. Uh, you know, it, it says specifically to, en to enhance the presence of solar energy access in underserved communities in suburban Monroe County. Uh, can the administration kind of give me an idea of, you know, that seems like a very specific uh, demographic or or you know what why only in the suburbs of Monroe County I guess and what's the definition of an underserved community um, through the chair through we're, the chair, sorry. we're um, using this grant to um, pair it with our existing home improvement program which is only for suburban Monroe County thank you Yes, Legislator Moyo. Madam Chairwoman, um, through you to the administration, is the specifics that the President pointed out, underserved and suburban, is that the choice of Monroe County or is that embedded within the grant that we've been granted? It's within the, through the chair, it's within the grant that we've been granted. Thank you. Is it within the grant at our own writing or was it from, from the grant provider specified to underserved communities in suburban areas? Um, through the chair of the city, through this the is a this is paired with our community development block grant, which the city also receives their own funding, so we cannot um, provide funding in the city of Rochester. Okay. Any further discussion? Yes, Legislator Kaylee. Thank you through the chair. As, as always, it's like when we ask questions, sometimes it just gets a little bit thicker as we go, so I'm not sure. Um, through the chair to the administration, you're doing it for your home improvement within um, the suburban, underserved suburban residents. So are you saying that your home improvement program to the suburban un is only to suburban underserved residents? Through the chair, yes. Thank you. And y through the chair, you've just said that you are coupling it you, you get to this point along with that CDBG block grant money along with the city. Um, I've lost, I've lost the question that I have for this one because it, it's, it's um, let me back up then. Through the chair, how will you be out? How will you be reaching um, the suburban underserved residents? 
Um, through the chair, this grant will help us with marketing and outreach, um, and the applicants would be income-based. All right, thank you. And this is specifically, then through the chair, for um, solar education. Through the chair, yes, that's correct. Thank you. And then through the chair, the underserved, it's, it's income-based, so basically it would be the same across the line of within the city or outside the city? Through the chair, yes, that's correct. Thank you. And then do you have, through the chair, a designated area of focus um, at any given time where you're, you're, you're spending a little bit more time in one area than another based on uh, economic conditions? Through the chair, no. It's open to all suburban Monroe County residents. Thank you. So your target is nothing other than the entire outer ring of the county. Through the chair, yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Legislator Moyan. Thank you for calling on me again, Madam Chairman. Um, through you to the administration, um, in the initial response um, from the chairwoman, I think it was stated that we're can purchase vouchers and time. So is there anything tangible that's coming from this grant or is it education um, and expertise of some kind um, through the chair, if I didn't already say that? Through the chair, it's for expertise um, <coughs> since this is a new program for us. So the answer is nothing tangible through the chair? Through the chair, correct. Okay. And just so I'm clear, it's a grant from the Department of Energy for $10,000 to purchase or to obtain information and training from the Department of Energy um, through, the, through the chair? Um, through the chair, there, um, the website has independent contractors that would provide these um, expertise. Got it. Thank you very much. Now I understand. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please signify by, oh, I'm so sorry. sorry. Um, I'm sorry, just one more. Through the chair, because this is, is technical information and information to help the residents in the program, is there also information on uh, where they might obtain uh, low income, lo low interest loans or grants for the actual solar part of this program? Um, through the chair, this will be paired with our existing home improvement program, which is a grant from um, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Then specifically through the chair, this, then that program has information on how to, how to accomplish um, improvements through use of solar. Through the chair, yes. All right, thank you. Okay, now back up. <laughs> oh, that's okay. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Item carries. Oh, Any other matters to come before the committee this evening? There being no other matters, the sep September 25th, 2017 meeting of the Planning and Economic Development Committee will remain open until the end of business day. The next meeting of the Planning and Economic Development Committee will be held on Monday, October 23rd, 2017 at 5.15 p.m.